What's going guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy Ray's Blaze for you channel and subscribe to all that great stuff. Alright y'all, today we're going to be creating an ocean. Uh, we're going to be using a reference obviously. So I'm just going to turn on my Octane Renderer just to begin that. And um, a couple of things you want to know to accomplish this um, ocean-like effect is you need to have Hot 40. So just keep in mind. You're just going to click the Hot 40 and yeah. Okay. So let me drag this down here. Uh, let's put this full screen here. All right. So now we are gonna add a plane. Now the plane I usually put 500 to 500. This just increase the amount of polygons. Okay. You can always change the amount if you want to. And then I want to drag the hot 40 into the plane. Now as you can see that we already have some sort of ocean like. Uh, you know movements now look at this or simulation i might say so it does look pretty good the hot 40 already does that for you instead of doing it manually by using noise which is just uh anyways okay so i'm going to create a background here Ooh, what's that and then i'm going to drag in uh an image so i'm going to be using this as a reference to get the realistic ocean type look drag that in here and um, to get it on Octane, you just have to come over and click the Alpha channel. For some reason, that's how it works. Okay, so you can see that this is really, really t too bluish. So this might be quite easy to accomplish, really. Anyways, so let's begin. So I use, you want to go to Materials, Octane, Specular, and just drag that in there. So when you drag that in there, you want to come over to the Node Editor. Then you go over to transmission and then move that to blue. So as you can see that that already gives it a, a nice blue like. I know you guys are wondering what? Blue is too ridiculous. We're going to fix that. Okay. Alright. So the problem here is we need to decrease this. So now you can see that that makes more sense. Actually the ocean is blue. So let's go deeper with blue something like that and it's kind of bright too so let's go brighter yeah I feel like this one is easy to accomplish really because there isn't actually wait a minute okay no so this is where you just want to be playing with the settings a little bit you know have fun experimenting different sort of color <coughs> as for me i do perceive that this is kind of greenish not too green but it's a mixture though yeah something like that and you know what's funny octane can actually do this but again it might not give you the perfect kind of look so i'm just gonna go back uh, and just do it here okay so we are going to stick with something like this for now uh, no. let me increase this yeah let me increase the brightness a little bit yeah so we're going to stick with something like this for now actually you know yeah okay for now i'll stick with that oh by the way um there are other settings to this you can look at the reflection let's see what we can do with the reflection we can increase give it a, some sort of a greenish or bluish nature to it but that's gonna be too much see it's still too much so i need to drag this down actually i'm gonna drag all this back here and then increase this yeah I feel like we can even do something like this uh, so yo you just have to keep playing around with the settings okay I can't really tell you like the perfect because it depends on your shot right because you have to match it to the environment so for sometimes you might want to add some dirt to that it just brings out the you know the edges but again I don't think I'll be needing this for now 
okay so i guess that's everything the opacity is i don't think you want to be playing with the opacity i mean if you try to change the color you're gonna have something like this your stuff is gone so don't do that just leave the opacity the way it is the index however you can actually reduce it if you want to but again the standard um setting is 1.3 so i usually just leave it like that and then the anthroscopy just shows you some edges that can be shiny i don't need that okay so let's hop back to the hot 4d settings real quick so as you can see the ocean resolution is sort of like um let me zoom in here so you guys can see what i'm saying it's sort of like very low quality so if you take this up give it a little bit of time to load you see that the ocean now becomes much more realistic you know what i'm saying look look at that and then you can add some lighting to sort of adjust your ocean actually if, if i bring in a light let's see so i just i'm just using octane daylight so let's rotate this I'm gonna take this no okay alternative two how about I increase the power so as you can see that if we do that you can see the how realistic the ocean is coming to look again you just have to play around with the settings to be honest I can't really tell you guys like what how to do this to be honest because it depends on your scene that's all I can say anyways I don't want to use Octane Daylight I just want to show you guys what I mean by that okay so now that we have this ocean type I'm going to reduce this back to 128 I just want to show you guys some couple of things because Octane will crash if I keep changing the settings trust me all right, so the ocean size is basically, if you want to go like a bigger sort of crazy ass ocean, it just gives you, you know, different size of ocean. I'm going to increase my ocean size actually. I want it to be sort of flat. You know what I mean? Like you see this, see how flat it is? Something like that. Maybe at 800. Yeah. Well, with that, then if I bring in the 2K, let me see how it looks. Yeah, see, not too bad. However, we can go deeper too. Let's see. Yeah, something like that. Okay, let's go back to 128. So, for the wind speed, is basically controlling the direction of the wind. This one, however, I don't tend to play with it a lot because I don't see any point in doing that. Actually, we're going to stick with the 2K because it will depend on how that is reflected. It's just that it's going to be slower. Mm. So you see, that that, do, that doesn't look like an ocean. It looks like crap. So, um, I'm going to try one. Let's see, point five. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think point five will work for me but I'm just gonna reduce that I don't I don't think I'll be needing it to be honest all right so this basically increases you know the like how the ocean the the wave height right so if you want it to just be like flat you can just give it like that or you want it a little bit up and down you can give it like that I think I want mine to have a little bit of um this some sort of movement that is like the ocean is at rest you know it's just moving easily all right so now that we have that uh we go back here so the seed basically is i think it's just the particles in the ocean so i usually put this at five thousand yeah it's just uh this gives me a, a much more better look See what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. 
let's go to the chubbiness chubbiness I don't you shouldn't I don't think this is important uh, damp reflection nope wind alignment nope ocean depth I usually put this at a thousand it's just telling um, you're telling the program how deep your ocean is and then time scale is the movement and the animation and then all this right here is like if you have a ver vertex color for your foam map then basically you can add that in so this is just to give it a little bit of um, you know you know those water foam I don't know how to describe it maybe I'll just search it up foam map foam map 3d yeah oh, 3d ocean actually <laughs> you know something like this white thing here right something like this yeah so you can look for a vertex map and sort of you know add that in well anyways guys that's basically everything about ocean that you need to know um obviously there are, there are much more bigger settings actually let's try something here I haven't tried this before because hot 40 has this ocean simulator I don't know what I don't I, I guess this is for so you see, hmm, interesting so this oh So you guys see that uh, as the ocean is moving right so what this does is basically you it touches the like look at that wow I didn't even know that I'm just knowing that right now hmm. I might use that I might use that later on interesting factor <laughs> you see that there's a there's a whole lot to learn I just didn't know I didn't know about this but anyways we're not gonna be using that for now um, I'm just gonna go back here and yep so ladies and gentlemen that is everything you need to know about um, ocean oh by the way I said I was gonna show you guys another background okay let me let me just do one last thing here Let's do a harder one because I feel like that one was easy. So I am going to look for something like this. Okay, so adding the ocean here will be quite challenging, but we can do it. You see that it doesn't really match the scene. It looks so bad. Alright, so let's hop over to the Octane Specular. Now the transmission. I am going to decrease this yeah and then decrease this as well Decrease this so I do feel that the reflection might be adding a little bit oh see how dark it is now so I guess we can add some white stuff So as you can see we're actually getting there Maybe we just need to add in a little bit let's make this brighter yeah okay I won't I won't make it look like any color because there's no point um, roughness no transmission so again as you can see that this sort of matches our scene a little bit so we can just have this like this and then so you know you know, this is not too bad to be honest it's just gonna be slow while we render 2k so again just have some fun experimenting on how you can make your ocean more realistic uh, I hope this video guys helped you guys at least understand some techniques 
it's very challenging like for water because water doesn't really have color you know what i'm saying so other water is colorless and given that it's colorless artists do struggle to sort of get the look of how it should look like you know so yeah it's quite challenging oh anyways that's it for this video guys like give a thumbs up i'm going to see you guys next time take it easy and peace Woo!